OK, today we're going to get the inside track on some of the difficulties faced by African women in the working world. Sub-Saharan Africa has the highest rate of female entrepreneurship across the world, but it's still only 27%. But these are usually one-woman businesses with no employees or growth potential. Looking at larger um, African firms, women hold about 12.17. There it is, 12.17% of board directorships in 307 listed companies. That's across 12 uh, African nations. But an organisation that's called She Leads Africa is trying to change this. It's take, tackling the problem head on, hosting events, providing training and creating a global network. Yep, in just two years, it's built a community of more than 30,000 members across Africa and the uh, diaspora. Diaspora. Yeah, I'm always getting that one tongue twisted. So co-founder co of She Leads Africa, Yasmin Bello Osaji, is with us here in our studio. Good to see you. Thanks for being yes, on welcome the Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Um, can we, you know, because we talk about, I think this is a global problem, right, mm -hmm. about women on boards. We have, you know, we talk about it here in the UK, exactly. in Australia, in Europe. Uh, Asia does better than many parts of the world. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. Um, so it's, a, is it the same struggles in that sense, the same hurdles that, that you face in Africa, women face in Africa to get on board and be CEOs as as we see in other parts of the world? No, I think definitely there are, um, I think, a lot of similar issues. And I think that what really we really focus on is thinking about how we get more and more women into leadership positions. Mm. So kind of if you're in the corporate space, really thinking about how do you push and motivate young women to aspire to be the CEO, to be the CFO, to really be kind of taking African companies global. Um, and if they're in the entrepreneurship space, how do we think about kind of, you know, young women in Africa creating really innovative and scalable businesses? Why can't, you know, the next Facebook come out, you know, of a, from a young woman in Africa? Why isn't that happening? And you're talking about that gap, aren't you? Because in Africa, as we've mentioned, there are many, many women who are running small businesses, mm -hmm. uh, often helped by microfinance projects, those kind of initiatives where they're living. Mm -hmm. It's about them earning a living to enable them exactly. to, in some cases, just feed the family, exactly. enable their children to go to school. But what you're trying to do is get them to the next level beyond that, where they're running larger companies, they're employing people. It's a bigger vision. Exactly. And I mean, I think that, you know, we definitely don't have anything against microfinance. Um, but I think the challenge is that there is not just sort of one African female experience, right? I think that there are diverse the problems are diverse and the solutions need to be equally diverse. So we just see ourselves as one other provider in an ecosystem which needs to address um, sort of bringing African women fully into the uh, continent's economy. She Hive Boot Camp. Yes. So, now, I, 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 I do British military fitness when I try and I, I do <laughs> physical torture for an hour. I'm thinking, what is this one? Now, yeah. Tell me, that's why you're in London, isn't it? Yes, that's why we're in London. So I think one of the initiatives that, you know, we came up with was um, these four-day training boot camps. Uh, which we've called the She Hive. They are inspired by Beyonce's Beehive because we try to make everything that we're doing actually really young and engaging and fun. Um, and we've hosted the boot camps in sort of cities across the world and in the, in the, on the continent in the diaspora. So we've done um, Abuja, we've done Lagos, we've done Accra, we've done New York, we've done Nairobi. Um, and now we're bringing it to London. Um, the whole idea is kind of one, sort of helping young women really build tangible business skills. So we found that a lot of the conferences that we go to, it was kind of general discussions, but it's like, I want to learn about distribution. I want to learn about marketing. Like, how do I learn these, like, core skills? Do you have to pay to go to the boot camp? Um, so, yes, it's, like, very easy. You just get your ticket um, and you show up. Um, have a group of really interesting speakers um, who are going to be coming and really focusing on helping people build those tangible bu business skills, um, but also help them build a network of other young women. We sort of found that a lot of the times when young women were coming together, it was around entertainment or it was around fashion, but not that many opportunities to really talk about your ambition and be you know, not ashamed about the fact that you're saying, I want to build a million you know, dollar company and have people who are around you that are sort of in line with that and also want to kind of support what you're doing. Wow. It's fascinating. Thanks for Jeez. coming in. All the yeah. very best. Thank yeah, you. Good luck with that. Here. Well, enjoy your time here. Thanks for coming here about multi million. Yeah, we're like the next companies. Facebook or I what, as you so. said, whatever, whatever it is. Yep, Thank absolutely. You so much. We'll keep an eye.